numbers limited. I mean, it's kind of strange. What kind of sense does this new opportunity show that you can do? Um, sort of. I mean, when that, when everybody gets back, it's still going to be, we're also going to be moving as one. So, um, yeah, I guess you could say that uh, with all the guys that like Kurt Barnett and all those guys, uh, I'm, I'm stepping in, I'm trying to be a leader for the young guys. I'm trying to help do that. How much were you motivated by, by last year and maybe not given you know, the looks that you are now? Um, well, last year was kind of a, a process because, you know, I was kind of underweight when the coach had moved me to uh, tackle. So it was kind of a process. I was still doing a lot of things that I'm doing now, but I was still undersized. And But uh, now that I'm at the weight I need to be in, I feel like I'm doing a lot better job. You know. what, is, what is your weight at? Um, 285, 288. What were you at? I started camp last year. I was around like 265. So it, it took a while for me to get back to my weight. Yeah. Yeah. I feel a lot better. I feel good. I feel I'm moving like I was 265, 288. Um, I kind of, I kind of like playing the phone better a little bit. Um, I, so I've always been good with my hands, and like playing inside, and I can like utilize that a lot more than I do on the outside. It's a question just whether you knew whether you wanted to be good at the weight. Was that the issue, or did you right, know right. you could do it? Yeah, it was just all, all it was was just be at the weight. Kendall, uh, stay at two eighty five or two eighty eight, or is there a bigger goal? Um, two ninety. It sounds like a good mark for you. I feel like I can move as well as I did when I was. Kendall, can you talk about conversations you have with those back home and, and the support you know, from the other side of the mountains and whatnot? Oh, yeah. Um, my family follows me every day. Um, coaches, high school coaches, um, they follow me to this day. I still talk to all my high school coaches now. Um, my parents came down last week for family day. They're supporting me. I have family here and always supporting me. So um, I'm going back home just like I was. I'm just a dude from half luck, just, just trying to make it out for what, what about those that may not be Tennessee fans? Are, are they ball fans now? Uh, yeah, they're yeah. rooting for, for me, and uh, <laughs> they're rooting for the balls, I can say that. With the uh, with you guys being limited in terms of numbers, how much full line uh, work have you guys been able to do with just like you guys with the games situation? Um, we're doing full line work every day. Um, it's the same, um, tied, inside run, um, team. We're doing this the same. Who are you lining up with? Um, Jay Sean. Uh, I'm lining up on Jay Sean, uh, a guard. I'm sure y'all know who he is. Uh, uh, I, look, I line up next to LaTroy every day. Uh, we communicate back and forth. We're getting a, a, a bond between each other, so we're helping each other out. Yeah. You know, you and Jay Sean are probably two of the strongest guys on the team. I guess how, how would you characterize those battles between? It's, you it's, it's, it's rough sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I get the best of him, he gets the best of me. But one thing, we compete every day. And when we compete every day, we're making each other better. And uh, uh, he's, he's strong too. He's strong too. When you when you have a 710 pound squad, I imagine that probably helps you. You're, oh yeah, you kind of seeing how much that, that's helping you inside. Oh yeah, it helps a lot. Um, just I just got to make sure I'm just driving my legs, making sure I'm using utilizing that 710 pound squad. Kendall, uh, can you point back to a moment to why you think maybe the, the switch is flipped for you this time? Um, I don't know. It's just uh, me getting acting. Accolade to the to the playbook and uh, just me just making sure I'm locked in. Maybe before I wasn't as locked in as I am now, but now I got everything. I have no excuse, so I'm just going 110 miles an hour. What are some examples maybe that that your dedication has changed, or, or that, like you said, you're going 110 miles an hour than, than maybe when you were a younger guy? It's not really not as dedicated. It's just me just not thinking so much and me just reacting now. I can react to blocks. I can react to a lot of things I can, I'm a lot smarter than I was before. I can see like the backfield and know what's coming, know if the double team's coming or not. So I can, I've, I've gotten a lot smarter after that.